Here is a General Electric corded memory telephone. This is the General Electric 2-9267A. A as in a goose. This was made in the Philippines. So it's probably pretty decent quality. As far as General Electric goes when it comes to telephones, I have a lot of mixed feelings about their telephones. Some of them were just horrible. Some of them were, were great in concept but were not uh, very reliable, didn't work that good. And then some were just fantastic. I'm hoping that this is one of the ones that's fantastic. I believe in this era this would have been made by at links or the Atkins. I like these handsets. They're very ergonomic. They sound good. They talk good. Not too much wind noise. This telephone is very similar to a model that we had in the family. Actually, I, pretty much for my entire life, it was a uh, another very large button unit with the speed dials on top. And I remember it had the, the huge uh, hook switch like that. These buttons, they just have terrible feedback. It's almost like you can't even tell when you pushed them. I wonder if they're dirty. This one is kind of sticking. These are the, um, the click type buttons. Flash is kind of worn out. Those I don't think were ever used. The speed dials are never written down, so that's still in good condition. It's a little faded from sun, but not too bad overall. It's not too scratched up. It's pretty clean. It's got the bracket still. You can see a little bit of yellowing on the side of the handset, and that's about it. The cord has definitely seen a lot of action. Usually when it gets stretched out like this, it's from hanging on the wall, but this is set up for desk, desk mount. The bracket is, the hook switch is, unless does it seem like that was... I don't know, the hook switch is kind of chewed up a little bit. Maybe it was on the wall. Usually, if these have been mounted, you'll find like a million scratches around this because a lot of people have a hard time lining this up when it's on the wall. There's the quality checking. And there's a battery here, which is for the speed dial memories. Oh, that's interesting. This is a Thompson product. So this must be later than I thought it was. I thought this was been a 90s product, but I wonder if this come out in the 2000s. Before we go any further, I just want to see if we can get that battery out of there, because it's just a matter of time before it has a problem. I believe the battery was for... Um, backup of the speed dials in the event of a not a power failure but in the situation where the telephone is disconnected from the line probably just like a 2032 yep something very similar to that what is it a it's oh yeah it's a 2032 it's a Toshiba battery does this have a data made in Japan this is probably a very good quality battery. I wonder if it still holds a charge. Oh no. That just broke. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Well, it's a good thing I didn't really plan to reinstall that.
This does have more of a 2000s look to it with the, the silver, the gray color scheme, the rounded buttons. This does look a lot more 2000s than 90s to me. So it still feels like it's pretty good quality. Well, Thompson is not my favorite brand. Uh, I think their equipment was just not that great. That's cool. Um, a lot of the cordless phones that Thompson made just didn't work that good. Screens failed. But uh, hopefully the corded phone was better. I know Atkins made a bunch of failed corded phones too, so... I guess neither of those OEMs were really that great. Okay, now the ringer is set to high, I think. Yeah, the ringer is set to high. Let's go ahead and call this up and see if the ringer works, and if it does, what does the ringer sound like? That's one of my favorite phone ringers. I like that ringer so much. That's very loud too. Both volumes work. It's actually still slightly audible when it's off. Well, that's good. The ringer passed. Let's see. The audio doesn't work. It just seems like it's totally dead to the world here. There's no... nothing at all. No... No transmit, no receive. Is there a problem with the... It's not even... Uh... Is it even registering the buttons? Okay, the buttons are registering. They're very hard to push. Some of them are not, not pushing very well. Yeah, the dial board is definitely going to need a good cleaning. Alright, so why this is not working? The handset just seems completely dead to the world here. Plug the plug-in looks okay. The uh, it looks like it might be slightly corroded, but nothing crazy. The pins look fine on this one. Jeez, tell me this is spoiled. Well, I actually really wouldn't be all that surprised because, like I said, GE's telephones, in my opinion, are not very reliable. in one two three all right we've got audio transmit and receive on this handset maybe we'll get lucky and it's just a bad cord one two three 
One, two, three, goose, goose. It's a bad chord. The chord is the spoiled. So let's try it with this working chord. Goose. All right, it's working. So it's just a bad chord. Uh, most likely, the chord needs new ends crimped on. And they look okay to me, but sometimes, sometimes that happens. Well, we'll fix that when we uh, clean up the dial board and everything else in there. I'm glad this is going to be a simple fix. Okay, now we can actually test the telephone. That volume was hot. You've reached the Jones Family Farms crop report line. The farm is presently in between seasons. That is so screwed up. Hello, and thank you for calling your national located on the campus of Brookhaven National Laboratory in Upton, New York. This office serves the New York City metropolitan area including Southeast New York, Northeast New Jersey, Southern Connecticut and the surrounding coastal waters. For your All right, that sounds pretty good. Seems to be working properly. Now I'll record some testing messages so we can test the microphone transmit. Hey Bill, it's Frank. I wanted to let you know that I didn't get any sleep last night because a goose flew in around uh, about 10 o'clock and the stinking thing was honking all night and it's still here. It's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon and it's still here. If it's still here tonight when I try to go to sleep, I think I'm going to get a skunk and I'm going to aim the skunk at the goose. And I'm going to push the spray button and hopefully the goose will go away when it starts to smell that rancid skunk juice over. Duh. Six new messages and seven old messages. Message one. An interesting story about this telephone, or not, not this telephone, but the one that's very similar to it that we had in the family. I remember that telephone for as long as I can remember. The, what a stupid thing to say. I'm just going to start over. But 
but I'll include this in the video anyways because I'm sure somebody will find it funny to hear me say something stupid into the answering machine. Message two. An interesting note about the similar model to this telephone that we've had in the family for as long as I can recall. That telephone was originally given to my mother as a birthday present. And I never knew this until one day when I was digitizing some VHS tapes that my grandfather had filmed. There was a tape of her birthday party and some portions of the tape showed the opening of the gifts. And one of the gifts that she opened was the telephone. And it was so interesting to see how people reacted to it because everybody there was like, oh, a telephone, wow, that's great. And it's funny because nowadays it's become such a mundane item that nobody would even give a telephone as a gift anymore, which is kind of sad. And to me, it's sad to see how telephony is degrading in this country and, and really all over the world, it's, it's starting to go away, uh, which is a shame because it's such a big part of history and the telephones have been such a big part of my life and I really enjoy them and I miss seeing them around and in use everywhere. Message three. I just noticed that some of these speed dials have Mem uh, what are those things called? Numbers. Some of these speed dials have numbers programmed into them. Message four. The first one is just a bunch of spammed zeros with a, with a uh, an asterisk in the middle, and then a couple of them are blank, and then the other one's a bunch of nines, and one of them when you press it, the phone just goes quiet and stops working. I don't know if the button is sticking or what the problem is with that. It almost seems like somebody was trying to program the numbers and just <laughs> couldn't figure it out or something. Message five. Hey, Bill, it's Frank. I wanted to let you know that I didn't get any sleep last night because a goose flew in around uh, about 10 o'clock and the stinking thing was honking all night, and it's still here. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon, and it's still here. If it's still here tonight when I try to go to sleep, I think I'm gonna get a skunk, and I'm gonna aim the skunk at the goose, and I'm gonna push the spray button, and hopefully the goose will go away when it starts to smell that rancid skunk juice over. Message six. Jeez, uh, it sounds like a farm. End of message. Okay, so that's going to be it for this one. The telephone is working, sans the power, or the, not the power cord, the handset cord. Probably just needs new ends, or I'll just got a different cord. I got so many cords anyways, it's not a big deal. But I really like this telephone. I like the way it sounds. I really like the ringer. It talks good. It's a nice telephone. And just for reference, that telephone over there, which you can't even see at this angle, that telephone there is the one that my mother got for her birthday.